Here's something to consider. When trying anything new, something you've never done before, how do you usually feel? Probably super confident, right? Or maybe you were a tiny, a little bit nervous, right? Yeah, maybe that one, just, just a little bit. When trying something new, it's totally normal to have nerves kind of boil to the surface. A natural response is to look for reasons why you can't, shouldn't, will never follow through with it. So what does all that have to do with you and why you're here watching this video? Well, if you're considering working with vector marketing, there's probably some nerves coming up. And this is when you search, is vector marketing legit? And then you find a video like this. And I mean, after that, I obviously did not go to training or anything because uh, I kind of realized it was a scam and not worth my time. Now, doing research when the emotion of fear is high can be kind of risky because oftentimes, you know, we find exactly what we're looking for. And the other stuff kind of just gets pushed to the side. There's actually a part of our brain called the reticular activating system that filters what our eyes see and what we actually notice. Otherwise, we'd be totally overwhelmed by the amount of data around us. So the RAS is a filter letting in only the things that it thinks are important. Well, how does it know what's important by what you focus on the most? And because it's humans, it's our default to believe that we are always right, which I am. <laughs> Just kidding. We will only notice things that will further prove ourselves right. For example, if you tell yourself that you're a failure, you'll always focus more on the times where you mess up instead of the times where you were successful, regardless of how much success or failure you've actually experienced. If you've watched up to this point, that probably means to some extent you want to be successful with vector marketing, but maybe you're a little bit anxious and that's okay. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it's normal to feel that way. If you weren't a little nervous, it would simply mean you didn't care about doing well. So take it as a good thing. Let me introduce you to one of our newer sales reps, Victoria. Hi everyone, my name is Victoria. She's an English major, which on the surface level doesn't really relate to a job like this. You would think only marketing and sales majors would try this type of job, but she sold over $7,000 in her first 10 days of doing appointments. Well, was she nervous? <sighs> no. Successful people don't get nervous. Of course she was nervous. She almost didn't accept the position. The main reason I almost didn't shout sales with Vector was because I didn't know if I was gonna be able to do my job well. Um, I didn't know if I was confident enough in my abilities to even talk to people, cause I'm pretty shy like I mentioned. So I didn't know if I was gonna be able to communicate with them and build a connection with them. She didn't know if she was confident in her abilities. And she sold $7,000 in her first week and a half. You want to know the secret and how she became so confident resulting in her success? She just kept at it. And you want to know how she was able to do that? Because she gave it a try once. So what was the one thing that got her to take the leap? There had to be something stronger than the fear of failing. I actually did apply to other jobs like CVS and Walgreens, but I decided to give sales a try because first of all, I knew that if I didn't try, I was going to regret it. And I don't want to live a life where I regret things. Um, that could be a huge opportunity for me and it allowed me to get out of my comfort zone and just because like I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty shy. So I wanted to expand on my communication skills, which would be really helpful later on in life. The pain of regret for her, it would be way worse to wake up a month, a year, 10 years from now wondering what if then the fear of what if I fail? Because like I said earlier, you get what you're looking for. She probably asked herself, what if I could be really good at this? And I just threw it all away because I was, what, a little bit nervous? Victoria chose to get out of her comfort zone. Victoria had courage and she's reaping the rewards of it now. So what will you do? I don't know, I can't convince you one way or another. That decision is yours to make, but do you want to live with a possible regret of not trying and wonder, what if I could have been really successful with that? Or do you wanna just give it a shot and see what happens?